What is the most unexpected damage you've ever done as a player character or dungeon master? Part 1. For example, I made a Ranger 5 Rogue 1 for laughs as a one-shot character. We were fighting zombies, and my DM said that, based on past events, we would not have weapons. So when my turn came around, I grabbed a random NPC's shoe and chucked it. With Hunter's Mark and Sneak Attack and Dex Mod and Favored Enemy and Sandal Damage 1, I managed to kill an undamaged one with 16 points from a sandal. Back in college, while trying to get two tables to be exactly the same height so that our battle mat wouldn't have a bend in it, I caused a massive crack in the iron support connecting the table leg to the tabletop. That was pretty unexpected damage. My RA was pissed. I was doing a tier 1 one-shot for some low-level scrubs. As they were fighting a necromancer, he reached out for the Druid of the Moon, transformed as a black bear, and cast Inflict Wounds. Nat 20. But it shouldn't be too bad. It's just 6d10. He might get lucky. 10, 10, 10, 8, 7, 5 for a total of 50 damage. Gotta say, he was lucky he was in bear form or else he'd be insta-dead. Related, once I threw a pair of wormlings at a party of six, and they were doing pretty well. The druid, however, got bored of fighting flying dragons as a bear and changed back to his normal self just as the sorcerer pelted the last wormling with almost enough damage to kill it. The two PCs were standing next to each other. So on the last round for the wormling, it recharges its breath weapon and targets the sorcerer and the druid by proximity. Dished out something like 25 damage each. I get ready to move on when the druid pipes up saying he's dead. I had forgotten that he had a severe negative to con and only had 12 hit points. My druid cast Tidal Wave on a Fire Elemental once. They take damage according to how many gallons of water hit them. I think it did 2,000 damage overall. My most proud moment in D&D. Smiley face. As a level 11 rogue, converting a poison trap into a thrown dart deep inside a challenge dungeon and throwing it with a crit. I believe it was 20d6 for the poison alone, plus 12d6 sneak attack and the measly 2d4 dart damage. Now, I didn't quite kill the Dao we were fighting, but it was left so low in health that our monk could easily poke it to death. When my PCs were able to stab a dragon in the heart for insane necrotic damage as they sapped its life force and knocked it off a tower. Pretty sure it did nearly over 100 damage when they were only 3rd level. Little do they know that it survived and is planning its over-elaborate revenge as we speak. That same dragon one-shot a player character with about 55 damage in the same session. Her third session, if I remember correctly. Wasn't surprising to me, but to my DM. Back in 3.5, I twin-cast a duo spell of Orb of Frost. I looked at my DM and asked him if I could borrow 4d6. Ha ha there, Wolf17, you have a pack of 36 in front of you. Me. I know, I'm rolling 40. DM. Nani? I had a ghost do some possession shenanigans. Eventually, they killed all the things she could possess, so she got angry and attacked. It kinda one-shot the wizard. Well, she was already very wounded, but it would've one-shot her regardless. Ouch. Not my story, but my dad once played a dwarf wizard that specialized in stone magic. The party was tasked with fighting an army, and he had the brilliant idea of casting Wall of Stone at max level right in front of the army. At least half of the soldiers died. His DM was pissed. I'm playing a warlock in a campaign that's basically a really long journey from point A to B. We started with a bunch of NPCs in our caravan, and along the way we met others and recruited some of those. In total, we have met and recruited around 20 named NPCs. How is the DM keeping track of those? He doesn't have to. My warlock has been indirectly responsible for the deaths of all but five of those, for the most varied of reasons. Accusing someone of murder, keeping watch on my own, starting a religion, sending someone on an errand, telling someone to hide so they stay safe, asking someone where they're from, trying to break my companions out of jail, teleporting someone. The causes are varied and the deaths are always unexpected. Of the remaining six NPCs, one of them my warlock killed actively, another one is in jail as a direct result of my warlock's actions, and a third retired ASAP before the curse could reach him. As far as I know, he's still alive. We left his city in a hurry, though, after we turned it into a big powder keg. I can only hope the DM is benevolent and that city hasn't been wiped from the map. 
The last three surviving NPCs are with the party and doing pretty well at the moment, but one of them is very squishy. I fear for his life. Oddly, none of the PC deaths had anything to do with my warlock whatsoever. That's probably because they are made of sturdier stuff. We play 20, 20, dead. Meaning, you roll a nat 20, you roll again. You roll another nat 20, you roll again. You roll a hit, and you instantly kill. One of the PCs was being a prick to the local youth. One evening, as he was leaving the tavern, they threw rocks at him. I rolled 20, 20, 20. As DM, 20, 20 dead drops PCs to zero and unconscious. He woke up with obscene, childish things drawn on his face. My all-time favorite moment of this kind happened when I was running the first session of my first proper campaign. One of my PCs, a gnome ranger, was tasked with feeding and grooming the horses when the small military convoy the party was accompanying made camp. Maxis, the gnome, wasn't fond of the NPC he'd been paired with, a preachy, nasal-voiced priest of Lathander, and spent his time bitching about him to one of the draft horses whenever the priest was out of earshot. Next minute, the priest nat ones his animal handling check while grooming the draft horse. The draft horse winks at Max and then rolls to hit the priest. Crit. Rolled Max 44 plus 4 for 20 damage and came one point off of instantly killing the priest, who was launched across the campsite and into a crate of apples. I was so shocked that I ended up developing a backstory for the bloody draft horse. A few days ago, a couple guys from my group and I were running one-shot encounters to test out new builds at level 4. We were ambushed in a narrow gorge by some bullets. After polymorphing one into a rat and trapping it under a pot, we eventually wore down the other. We're definitely not feeling well, and another fight like the first might result in a TPK. Guy 1. How much damage do you take from falling? Me. 1d6 per 10 feet. Guy 2, if one of us were to successfully attack from the top of that 50-foot cliff, would the target take the damage instead of us? Go with the rule of fun, right? Me, okay, hmm, we'll say minus 1 to hit for every 10 feet. It's not easy to jump and land an attack, so minus 5 to hit, but if you do, you get to roll an additional 5d6 to your regular attack, so who's gonna try it? You, you are! are. So my great weapons master climbs up that cliff as the others flank the rat. Polymorph loses effect upon a creature's new form dropping to zero, meaning this bullet is probably about to return to normal. And prepare to remember Hrothgar for his looks rather than his brains. I say a prayer to Odin, roll the d20, and... Nat 20. 14d6 plus 14 later, the bullet takes 76 damage from a single greatsword attack. I killed a boss on opening initiative due to a lightning weapon and the enemy being coated in water. I got three crits out of my four attacks somehow, using action surge. My DM wouldn't let me make a shield claimer, so there was some unexpected damage to my enjoyment. A tinkerer got a tinker. I don't remember the exact number, but in one game I was playing, we had a rival group of NPCs we were supposed to fight throughout the campaign. In one encounter, there was a druid on their team that I especially hated. I had him in a headlock while trying to negotiate with their party leader. He tried to escape, so I took a pearl off of my necklace of fireballs and force-fed it to him. He died. He died all over the place. I accidentally one-shot my friend's panther familiar after it tried to pounce on me. It was trying to pounce on another target, but it rolled a nat 1 and I was the closest target. At level 12, the paladin in the group hit a shadow with a sunblade. He landed a crit with his highest smite spell, dealing a grand total of 214 damage. I have never rolled that high of damage, not even with ancient dragons. I told him it left a 10-foot hole in the floor, which was unfortunate because it was the floor of a house a wizard sent them to for help. Not dealt, but received. In a second edition campaign, my idiot thief was scouting a room for the party, and being the kleptomaniac he was, thought he'd loot the valuables from a chest before the party came around. Well, the room was full of an odd mold, and... I couldn't reach the chest, so I thought I'd just casually toss one of the charges off my necklace of fireballs and burn the mold out of the room. It was brown mold. Our entire party was almost instantaneously suffocated slash crushed by the expanding mold, and we wiped a level 12-ish party that night to a CR2. I didn't live that one down for several years. 
We were fighting our big bad evil guy. All but two party members, including myself, were down. One was fighting off hordes of underlings, and I, our wizard, was out of spells and had been disarmed. So I reached into our bag of holding and whipped out a rather pricey bottle of wine we nicked from a previous villain's home. I then clocked the BBEG with the bottle, which my DM counted as a dagger strike because realistically it'd be a bunch of glass shards. That's 1d4 damage. I rolled a 4, plus a bonus for it being a finesse weapon and me having that skill, and me rolling a nat 20 with disadvantage was enough to land the final blow on a Rakshasa. It's a bit more mundane than others, but my bard recently obtained and attuned to an oath bow. In the most recent boss fight, he dealt 44 piercing damage with two arrows. The bard dealt the most damage in that battle, while the fighter spent it all wrapped in a living rug. Crit the big bad in our second edition campaign. Three times out of four attacks, did over 300 points of damage, and killed him. My initiative was like 18, second edition rules were weird, and I went last. Everyone dealt their damage and I put him down ended the campaign on a good note. Hello, my sweet, tender, delicate darlings, and thank you for dedicating your attention to this YouTube video, and indeed this entire magical RNG-based journey we're on. The secret ingredient is magic, and you are magical. At 50,000 subs, we're going to make Mr. Ripper play some fucking D&D for the first time. And it's going to be earth-shattering, spirit-unifying, cosmically aligning, and hopefully kind of funny, so... Please sub for that, and as always, for Nat 20s. Thanks again for watching. May RNGesus smile fortune upon thee and thine.